The Discovery of Penicillin Penicillin was the first antibiotic discovered by Alexander Fleming at St. Mary's Hospital, London. Louis Pasteur discovered that many diseases were caused by microorganisms. Many scientists tried to search for ways to destroy these without harming the person who was infected. Once, after returning from a long vacation in 1928, Fleming noticed that his culture plates were contaminated with a fungus. He observed that the mold of penicillin spices inhibits the growth of bacteria. He continued further testing and found that it is an effective antibacterial compound, even after thousandfold dilution. Dr. Cecil Payne, the former student of Alexander Fleming, treated a miner with lacerated eye with penicillin extract, and his eyesight was saved. By the mid-1930s, a class of synthetic chemical drug was developed in Germany and was effective in treating some bacterial infections. Fleming started working on these new drugs, but he never lost his interest in penicillin. Around the same time, Dr. Howard Walter Florey, along with Dr. Ernst Boris Chain, another scientist, started working on the process of developing penicillin. By 1941, it was acknowledged that penicillin was a worthwhile and could save thousands of lives. In 1943, Fleming was knighted along with Howard Florey. They were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine for their discovery and development of penicillin two years later.